All right, so this video is going to be about the garden huckleberry. And I just want to show you the plant and show you some of the fruits on the plant. I also want to let you know that this is not a huckleberry like you would see huckleberry finny and the huckleberries. That's not the same thing. A uh, huckleberry is basically like a blueberry, except it's different in the sense where it's something to do with the amount of seeds and stuff in it, and it only really produces like one berry per node or something like that, whereas a regular blueberry will produce multiple berries on a branch and things like that. Something to that effect. I, this isn't about uh, huckleberries. This video is about the garden huckleberry and the seeds that you buy in the store and it says, you know, garden huckleberry, first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, I'm gonna grow huckleberries. And you're not gonna grow huckleberries, you're growing what's known as a garden huckleberry. And this plant is very closely related to the nightshade plant. It's not the same, it's in the nightshade family, but it's not the deadly nightshade, though it's very similar in a lot of different ways. So here's a closer look at the, huckle, at the garden huckleberry. I wish it had a different name because that would really be the appropriate way to describe this, but it doesn't have a different name, and so you have to go by what they call it, and that's garden huckleberry. Birds really love to eat the berry, but yes, they will spread on you very profusely. And as you can see, this plant will produce many, many, many berries, and this isn't a fully healthy growing plant. You grow this plant in the sunlight, it'll get five feet tall and you'll have clusters of berries on this thing by the hundreds, literally by the hundreds. And so one berry can have as many as 50 seeds in it per se. So do the math, how many seeds can come out of one plant in a season. And if the birds are eating it, yes, it can spread. So I just want to make sure I note that in the beginning, just so you understand what I'm talking about. Now, this is not the sunberry. Some people confuse this to be the sunberry. This is definitely not the sunberry, and there's some differences, and I'm gonna to try to show you those differences. You can see the bract on this thing, first of all, how it forms these berries. It's very different from a sunberry. Sunberry is more like, you know, it comes out on one end of a stem, and it'll put out like five or six berries off of that, usually. Sometimes it does something similar to this, but this is always gonna put out these berries like that, like a big cluster of them. This is sometimes what a sunberry will look like. You'll see that, that kind of looks, but it's not. These berries are also very large, too. They're, they're very, they're probably two, maybe three times the size of a sunberry, and you can definitely just, just tell the difference immediately. Also, these take a long, long time to ripen, whereas sunberries, as soon as you see them, Within about a week or two, after them sitting on there, they start turning black and you pretty much got edible berries right away. Whereas with this, you gotta wait a long time. You don't eat these berries as soon as they turn black. You almost wanna wait, sorry about the wind, guys. You almost wanna wait until the berries fall off the plant. You wanna wait until these berries are so ripe they're almost falling off the plant. You can see they're green here and you can kind of see there's a few here that are like light purple these couple are like light purple and eventually as you go down the plant you'll see a lot of these ones down here are more ripe now i've been waiting uh probably about a month and a half for these to ripen and one one of the ways that i can tell that they're ripe is you squeeze them a little bit and they're kind of like a berry that's under pressure like if you squeeze it too much it's just going to pop and seeds are going to go everywhere it's what it feels like now an unripened berry like most of these are, are close to really being ripened. Also, too, they get really black when they're ripe. They get very, very black. Whereas if they look even slightly like light black, almost tinges of purple in it, or maybe light, like a little t kind of touch or shade of green in it, do not eat those. Those are not ripe. You want to absolutely make sure that these berries are 100% ripe before you eat them. You do not want to eat these berries in any raw form, in any way, shape, and form. And that's very important to know that. Now, I do have people that come on my my uh, videos and say, no, I eat them raw berries, I eat them green, I eat the leaves, I cook the plant. 
What you have to understand is it might not necessarily poison you where you're going to die like you just drank cyanide or something. What's going to end up happening is it's going to cause irreversible damage to your liver and your kidneys. So if you keep eating them while they're not ripe and you eat enough of them, if you don't get sick by then and you eat enough of them, you're going to have damage to your kidneys and your organs that is going to be a problem for you in the future. You don't want to have to wear a colostomy bag in your older years. So take care of your health, be wise, and do things safely, and you'll live a nice, healthy life, and you'll be able to enjoy berries like this. So when people tell you, nah, you could eat them raw, man, I didn't die. Yeah, you can eat them raw, but the long-term damage to your organs is not reversible. Just remember that, okay? This plant contains very toxic chemicals and compounds that can do long-term damage. It, it, it could as very well get you sick as well. I mean, you know, I don't know. I'd never eaten them raw. A couple of times I chewed on them. They didn't take, they were bitter-like kind of. I spit them right out, spit my saliva for the next five minutes. Keep spitting until it's completely out of my system. But, like, here's a good example of one that's really not, nowhere near ripe. Try to get you that color. You see how that color is not, it's kind of purplish. It probably can't, you probably can't pick it up on a camera. But you really got to believe me on this. You don't want to eat these raw. You want to wait until they're almost falling off the plant. And they're so squishy that they're, if you squeeze them, they pop. But these are probably okay because he's been on here for like over a month. So we're going to pick one of these and give it a taste test. I've been looking at these for a while. And let me try to open one up for you. I'm not going to actually eat this one. I'll just kind of squirt one out. Now, I'm going to get this juice all over me. Now, that's right. You see how that inside of that is all black like that? That is what you want to see. Now, with sunberries, you don't necessarily see that with sunberries. They, they could be fully ripened, and there's still like a light green, purplish color on the inside. It don't look anything like this. You can make a beautiful jam out of that but I got to taste this I don't remember what these taste like I haven't grown these for several years so I really don't remember but that's what you want to see that nice rich dark purple color see how my hands are stained from it throw that over there my hands are bloody stained all right let's try that one I've read that the seeds are toxic on this as well if you eat them and you don't chew them, that's one thing. But if you sit there and you chew the seeds up, that could be toxic because there's compounds in the, inside the seed. From what I've read, anyway, or what I heard. I'm trying to find you a really ripe one. So far, I'm not getting any really good ones. Kind of hard to describe the flavor of this berry. I mean, look how it stained my hands. It looks similar to a pokeweed berry, but it's not. Trust me, this is not pokeweed. I'll show you the leaf in a minute. It looks exactly like the sunberry, except it's definitely not sunberry. Okay, it does have a little bit of a tangy flavor to it. Almost tomato-like. The skin itself has a kind of green flavor, like some kind of a green plant. The skin itself, so once you start chewing up the skin, it's kind of got its own flavor. But the, it does have a sweetness to it, it's just not heavily sweet. It almost has a sweetness that affects you like the way saccharin would, like if you ate saccharin, take a little tiny dab of saccharin and put that on your tongue. That's what it tastes like. I'll try one more. I got to come out here and pick these berries to get the seeds this year because I'm completely out of seeds. Even though it took over, I didn't save any of the seeds or anything. I'm completely out of this berry and I really do want to at least keep seeds to it. So... Let's give that one a go. Oh, and make sure if you get any kind of green on it, make sure you fully get the everything off it. You don't want nothing but the berry. You don't want any part of this plant other than the berry. That bitter taste that you get, I believe is probably some of the alkaloids in the plant, which are generally not good for you, but it's probably not enough to do harm to you. I wouldn't eat these in great numbers, but they're okay. To forage a little bit man that is look at that stain on me 
I wouldn't eat them in great numbers, but it's a nice little snack here and there, energy, give you some food. I wouldn't fill my belly with them, though. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. I'll grab one more. As far as, like, what you could use them for, I'm assuming you can make jam with it. You, If you cook it down, maybe that alk, that kind of soury taste. A little, It's got a little bit of a, like a, a, a sour taste a little bit to it. Sort of like a... Um, a tangy flavor. I, I don't really know what else to say. It's similar to a tomato. It's kind of like a tomato, but it's not a tomato. It's definitely got some kind of tangy flavor to it. It's a it's a pretty good plan. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It does have a light sweetness. It's got like its own kind of a berry flavor, but it's not very strong. The strongest part of that flavor profile on this berry is probably the tangy part is more if that tangy wasn't there these berries would be absolutely perfect but there is a tangy flavor to it it's not bad or anything it's just when i eat a berry i want to eat something like a raspberry you get that full sensation of the flavors work together you know you're getting all that sweetness the flavor of the raspberry this has got that flavor where if you put salt on it that'll probably work like a tomato or it'll work if you eat it like a jam with sugar it's kind of the flavors like right in the middle. You can work it either way. It's kind of a strange way to describe this, but I really don't know any other way to describe this, this berry. I would definitely say give it a go. I'm gonna have fun pressing these berries out. My hands will probably be purple. The next few videos you're gonna see, I'm gonna have purple hands because once you get standing on your hands like this, even though you get as much of that out as you can, your hands always kind of look like a purple color a little bit to it. So, and I gotta press all this, so. It's the same thing as the sunberry. It looks identical. You almost can't tell the difference between this plant and the sunberry when they first start growing because the, the, everything looks the same except this plant gets a very prominent stem on it. You see that main stem? Gets woody down there. It, the, the sunberry don't generally get like that. It kind of stays like a thin plant and just gets really sprawly. Like a, a sort of like my Everglade tomato. It just spreads out in almost the same exact way. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. And uh, that's it. All right. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.